Well, it's being touted as a cancer-killing pill, and it has scientists excited that they may have found the holy grail when it comes to cancer research. Fox Nights, Courtney Godfrey joining us now live from our newsroom with more on this. Courtney, what do we know about how this treatment works? Well, Randy, researchers at the hospital that developed this treatment compare it to a snowstorm that closes a key airline hub, shutting down all flights in and out. Only in this case, the planes would be carrying cancer cells. I talk to people three or four or five times a year is um, getting matched. And I know our demand is up about 30% in the past year. As a mentor to patients newly diagnosed with breast cancer, Mary Jo Nye knows the far-reaching impacts of the disease, which is why news of a breakthrough cancer-killing pill piques her interest. It could be a game changer for people. After being diagnosed herself three years ago, Nye underwent a double mastectomy. This pill giving some hope that future patients may not have to go through that. If I would have been able to do it, that's a potential where maybe I could have just taken that and I wouldn't have had to have a double mastectomy. But the director of research at Minnesota Oncology, Dr. Tim Larson, urges caution. I would caution people to... Um rush to the conclusion that we found the cure for cancer. The treatment was developed by City of Hope in California and uses a molecule to target a protein critical to the replication of cancer cells. Preclinical research showed it effective in killing tumors associated with breast, prostate, skin, lung, and other common cancers. But Dr. Larson points out so far, it's only been tested on animals. You know, a lot of things look good in the lab. Uh, we've cured a lot of mice of cancer. But some of these same uh, so-called cures, when it came time for testing in humans, didn't always um, result in the same success. Still a sign of promise for those hoping for a cure. I think it's another tool in the toolkit, if you will, for doctors to use. This drug has been in development for 20 years. The first phase of clinical trials in humans is underway as we speak. Randy? All right, Courtney, thank you.